Hey everybody, today on Pinchao's Garage, we're going to do a forgotten filter on, a, on Filbert, the Mark IV GTI 1.8T, and that's the fuel filter. No one ever does those because everybody forgets about them. So we're going to do that today on Pinchao's Garage. <laughs> tools needed not very much you need your jack a jack stand a Phillips screwdriver a couple rags and patience because this part of the DIY or this forgotten filter is really messy when you pinch off the line it's actually gonna pour fuel out of it don't worry just let it spill onto your rags just for cleanup so let's get to go let's get going so whenever you guys do the uh, forgotten filter like I said, I keep going back at that, but uh, fuel filter, it actually sits on the uh, passenger side of the car by the <coughs> rear wheel, right over here. It sits right underneath here, so we're going to get to that right now and show you how to get it done. So let's jack this guy up and then get some wood to make sure we keep it up proper, uh, keep it from rolling. So what I usually call it, like a, like a little uh, chuck, a wood chuck, there you go. No. Remember to jack up your car, um, if you're lowered or you have side skirts, you really need to use some wood so you don't bend your side skirt. Um, if you're stock, don't worry about it, you can jack it right up. Pretty straightforward. Now you need the car about a good 10, 15 inches off the ground um, so you can see underneath. You need some visual. So you can see here we use the jack point here to jack up the car and then we use this pinch wheel to hold the, uh, the car in the stand. So make sure you have that and then move your jack out of the way. Once you have that done, next thing is fuel filter. Now, this is where you get your handy dandy Phillips. Let me see if I can get you guys a good view of this. Give me just a second here. That right there, that canister, folks, is the fuel filter. And I have no idea when was the last time this was done on this car. So that's why we call it forgotten filters. Because it's a filter people always forget to replace. And I mean always. It's super important. That's why I don't know why people forget. So... that little clip and see right here there's your um your clamp right here for your holder now you have to make this one pretty dang loose so so you have a lot of play in here Now, I can show you, and hopefully I can, there you go, you'll see here, on the very top of this, there's a pinch, a little push button, you gotta push on it and push in, pull out, and I'll show you right here, see this right here, this is, has, has its own little push button right here, let me see if I can show you guys, my Phillips, here we go. There you go. See that? That push button needs to go all the way down on the top, and you gotta pull that sucker out. And that's where you're gonna put your rag down below, right here. Because you're gonna make a mess with a bunch of fuel. Okay? Now, while you're doing this, remember take the key out of the ignition, you gotta make sure the doors are closed. 
And don't tell anybody to open any of the doors because what's going to happen is that the fuel pump will prime and it will squirt a shit ton of fuel out and you're just going to have a mess. Alright, remember that. So, just stay tuned right here. I'm going to put you in a little wacky spot, but hopefully you guys can see that. No. Try to get you guys adjusted here. There you go. Alright, so... Now, if you guys can't pinch it, see if you can turn it so you can see it, and then try to like use a little tool to pry against it. There you go. And you'll see all the gas coming out of there right now. Give it a couple seconds. It'll eventually stop leaking. Now, these are good to replace every, uh, what, 30,000 miles, if that. Um, I tend to service the fuel filter and the uh, transmission all at the same time because it's usually when you need to replace the gear oil on your transmission. Uh, gear oil I recommend replacing every 30 to 50,000 miles um, just upon how heavy you drive your car, honestly. It's all really a matter of how you drive your car. If you're a heavy, you know, lead foot guy, you might want to change your oil. I mean your transmission oil a little bit more often um, just because it'll keep everything pretty much running nice and smooth on your car you know you don't have to but it's just something I, I always suggest doing you know there's a lot of things you don't have to do on your car but you know it's always good to do it so that one's done now we have another one over here now this one's a bitch I'm just gonna tell you that right now um, this one has really like no space, like whatsoever, and how to do it. But there's a little. If you can find a way to pinch that thing, if you have a needle nose plier. Oh, that'd save your life. A needle nose would do it really easy. So with. Uh, the clamp and this one, the, I just noticed that the little button here is actually facing down so you just hit it with a uh, screwdriver and push it out and it pops right out. So now, see how like this is all floppy here? You want to use that and push forward towards the car and try to get that filter all out and try to keep your fuel spillage to a minimal. <laughs> Cause you spill a lot of gas because it, it, the, the little canister is just full of it. So you see that how I just slid right out, and now you just gotta kind of put your finger in the front of it, just like that, and then that's your filter. And remember, there's arrows on here to tell you which way the fuel flows when you put it back. So it goes in like that. Uh, you also notice there's like a lip on here that helps you also determine which way the thing goes in. This is why we change fuel filters because your fuel your fuel is supposed to be clear. You see that? I hope you guys can see that, but it's like black. See that? Your gas is not supposed to be black. It's supposed to be clear, and this is dumping literally black fuel. So that's just a prime example right there, guys. To show you that this is a filter that needs to be replaced very often because you just get this just black sludge. See that? That's not good. On the other side, it comes out clean because it's on the filter side, but this is what's filtering out. So 
you got to make sure you get this nice and clean. That's what's going into your in fuel injectors. That's what's going into your cylinders. That's what's how it's combusting. You're getting dirty fuel. The car won't run as proper or as powerful. Just, just something you need to do, guys. Really, really good thing. Super cheap. This cost me what? I think twelve bucks. And you don't have to replace it for a very, very long time. I mean, it's stupid not to replace these. So usually what I do, I let them drain. So let that drain for a while and then install your new one. Now, there's your forgotten fuel filter right here. And it's very similar to the one that we just pulled off. So, see there's an arrow. That arrow tells us which way the fuel is flowing. So that remembers we have to install it this way not this way and then the part number from AutoZone is FF 777 DL that's how you know you're getting the right fuel filter and I mean these are made pretty solid I mean they're really straightforward nothing crazy about them so um, reverse the process install it and then set your car back on the ground and then I'll show you what to do next see this little plastic bar this is what holds the, um, the main uh, vacuum line that's on here so make sure to not forget to put that back on there we go shouldn't be this hard but it is, it is being this hard super annoying fails loosen it some more give it some more slack There we go. Put that one back in its spot. Now, what I do is before you clamp everything down, put the lines back in. Now, they're supposed to clip in. Okay, they don't just slide in and you're done. They have to clip, they make a little clipping noise. So that's how you know you made sure that thing went in correctly. Once you get all that settled, now start tightening your clamp back down. Now you might, I might have extra lines that you guys don't have, and that's because I have my air suspension running through here. So. Don't freak out that you're all like, oh, I don't have that. No, you probably don't because you probably don't have airbags. But if you do, then you follow my DIY for the Raceland bags. So far, I've been loving my bags, just so you guys know. Alright, so that's all in. So now like this side is not clipping in. There we go. See that's what we need. We need to make sure it makes that clip noise. And if that's all done, you did it. You installed it. Okay, so now we gotta prime it because the car won't turn on immediately because there's no fuel 
inside here and this is like about a little less than a half a quart of fuel so you're gonna go turn your car on crank it over a couple seconds turn it off turn it back on crank it over a couple seconds and then it should be fine um, it should turn on with no problems there's uh, another little bar that fell let me find it here we go this little guy um, holds the uh, this in place and mine fell off so I gotta find out where it went yeah I think that's how it was yeah it's like a little hook oops there we go It hooks in down here, right, right at the front. There's like a little rubber grommet where that f slides into. So make sure you get that, okay? Uh, if everything is successful, it should look like this. All your lines should be untouched and unscathed. So you should have no cracks or anything in your system. That means everything went in correctly. Uh, if you broke a line or something like that, oh, God forbid. But you guys got a lot of work because then you got to replace this entire line uh, to fix it not hard but it's a pain in the rear um, but yeah that's pretty much how you guys do that thanks for watching Pinchao's Garage uh, our season 4 is about to end but we got some couple new videos coming before the season ends I will be coming back with much more content I'm super sorry that I didn't get much content but after the loss of my car I kinda had a, a little bit of a downhill slope so we'll talk later about that guys but thanks for watching today's episode and how to replace a forgotten fuel filter. And we'll see you next time. Hi everybody. Pinchy Al here. I'm here to ask a huge favor of everybody on YouTube. We hit over 3,000 subscribers, which is freaking awesome. You don't understand how awesome that feels right now. But I need help. And it's really simple. I'm going to drop the prices of my Pinche Al decals. It's this logo that you see on my shirt. You'll get two decals shipped to you for $3. Um, I'm trying to make pretty much Filbert ready for next year. So I'm not trying to push this as fast as I can, but I need to push this as fast as I can. I know that sounds weird, but that's the goal. So. For all you guys loving what I do and me helping you as much as I can by doing these DIYs, you guys can contribute just by three bucks. That's all I ask for. But you get something in return. You're not donating. You're helping. Okay? I know there's other things we can contribute and donate to, uh, especially to the, my heart goes out to the people out in uh, Texas and in Florida right now. They've, it's just natural disasters like no tomorrow. I've been contributing as much as I can. I donate very, as much as I can or the very little that I have to give. So I'm doing the same. I'm just asking for everybody you know, to watch my YouTube channel and enjoys everything to help out. Uh, we Back here in the background, we have my, my head and block and everything's back. So uh, the people at uh, VW Paradise, um, I don't even know what to say, but they redid all the re uh, machine work for free. After I paid uh, what I ended up paying at the, originally for the first time that we built, they redid my a new block that I had for me um, and everything else. So I don't know even what to say about that. That's a huge help for us right now, especially towards the build. Uh, but right now, I'm asking you guys, I'm a little short uh, doing the math uh, for my second job at AutoZone. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make as much as I thought I would uh, by the end of the year. So to make my little corners here, if I had about 75% of everybody on, on uh, subscribers buy a bundle from, my, from me, I make them here in house. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I'll move you guys over here. I make decals here in my home. Um, you see all my equipment. I mean, I do everything from here. And I'm doing this because decals are cheap. They, re they show what you love to do. You show your passion and what you uh, respect and like. So help me out, guys.
That's all I gotta ask. Uh, I got a couple more new DIYs coming out today, so stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching PGL, and from me to you, thank you guys, and let's keep making DIYs and let's keep doing what we love. Peace.